Let's write a program that gets a string from the user without using the CS50 library's function getString. To do this, we'll go ahead and use scanf, the function that the getString function actually uses underneath the hood. But I'm going to do this deliberately in a buggy way. I'm going to do it in a way that I think would be right, but it turns out that my assumption is going to be quite, quite flawed, and in fact, quite dangerous, because bugs like the one I'm about to make can be exploited by adversaries such that your machine or your program can be taken over, potentially. Let's begin as follows. First, let's declare a string, otherwise known now as a char star, and call it s. Let's next prompt the user for a string, as with string please. And let's now get the string from the user using scanf, quote unquote, percent %s. In other words, let's inform scanf that we do in fact expect to get a string from the user, but now we need to tell scanf one other thing, where to put the string that the user provides. Well, I'm going to quite simply start with comma s, specifying that I'd like scanf to put the string there. I'm next going to print out something like printf, thanks for the percent %s, backslash n, comma, and as always, I'm going to pass in the string. S. Now let's save, compile, and run this program and see if we can't induce the problem I predicted. Make scanf1 dot slash scanf1 string please. Let's provide something like hello. Thanks for the null. Hmm, that's not what I was expecting. So what's going on here? Well, it turns out because we declared s as a char star, but we didn't actually store in s the address of an actual chunk of memory, scanf didn't have anywhere to put the string that the user typed in. Indeed, if the user were to now type in a much longer string than hello, for instance, several lines of text or several paragraphs of text, it's quite possible that we might induce a so-called segmentation fault. Because scanf isn't going to know that I haven't actually put an address inside of s. Rather Rather, it's going to see some value in s, some pattern of bits that may very well be a garbage value there just by chance. And scanf is still going to try to write the user string to that address, even if it is a garbage value, which could indeed induce a crash. So how are we going to fix this? 